Previously on Jono and Ben's Cook Crusade. We had taken up the challenge to travel the 92 kilometres from New Zealand's north to South Island on an inflatable oversized piece of fruit. We reckon you try and cross Cook Strait on a banana boat. But as we prepared to leave, the tension was high. I'm genuinely the most nervous I've been before anything we've ever done. He's actually quite worried to be honest, so I think he's just saying goodbye to his, his family. Has he got his mic on? Can we hear what he's saying? Can't hear what he's saying. Turn his mic on so we can listen on the conversation. Would this most treacherous piece of water lay claim to two more lives? Probably not today. Damn. Damn. Because today, the treacherous waters of the strait were even flatter than Taupo that time I got seasick. You got lake sick. <laughs> well today, mate, I was getting fully sick on a big ass banana. We're in the cook strait, baby! It's, it's game time! All day, baby! All day, baby! All day. Every night, all day, actually. Every about half of the day. Yeah, I've just like, yeah. half, actually. Half day was nice. Eight hours would be nice. Yeah. Eight hours was gonna be a struggle. Because after just two hours of uneventfully smooth sailing, we were already battling boredom. Ready? Yeah. Too high, too high. <laughs> this is weirdly the most comfortable <laughs> position, but it's not doing great things for the rumours, Ben. Let him talk, Jono, let him talk. <laughs> I did have one surefire way of beating that boredom, though. Mess with Ben's fear of sharks. Oh, bro, shark. Oh, oh, shark, shark, shark. Oh, do, 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 look, shark, shark, shark. <laughs> so, <laughs> but suddenly, it was no joke. Oh, oh, shark, shark. a fin in the water. I don't know if it's a good fin or a bad fin. Lucky for us, it was a dolphin. Dolphin! Dolphin! Hey! Four hours into the journey, we'd reached the middle of the Cook Strait, and Ben's sea legs were beginning to cramp up. Oh, cramp, 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 cramp. Yeah. Ah, ah. Don't, don't rub it, you're making it worse. Oh, that's the hell. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'll see you later, Chef Matinzen. All right, hurry up. Come on. What do you mean, hurry up? I just fell into the ocean. Yeah, because you were like... Can we show some sympathy? Just hurry up and get on there. A uh, beloved okay, TV yeah. presenter just fell in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Man, overboard. With beloved TV presenter John O'Prior back safely on the boat, it wasn't long before we crossed into the Tory Channel. And a premature prior claimed the win. We made it! We haven't made it! Far out, we said we couldn't do we it. We haven't done it yet. But we made it. No. Oh. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, Leon speaking from the New Zealand History Books Department. Oh, hey, Leon. You might have to work a bit late tonight because there's another chapter to add to the New Zealand History Books. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Leon, just been here. You just wait on that one. We haven't actually done it yet. G'day, Leon. It's Jono oh. here again, mate. I don't want you working too late. You might as well start now. <laughs> After 92 kilometres, nine long, gruelling hours... Let's try and get a cell phone. And one cell phone. Shut up about the cell phone. <laughs> What did you just do? We made it to Picton Harbour. And despite this incredible, unparalleled achievement, I was remaining humble. John O'Prior, Kiwi legend, nice to meet you. The Kiwi heroes rolling into Picton. Ticket tape parade, knighthood, their faces on the money. Yeah, not quite, but Picton did literally roll out the red carpet for us. Just there for the accolades, we were also running the world's most unreliable courier service. And while Ben lost the rugby ball <laughs> and ate all the bickies, Damn, oh, yeah, well, you ripped the bear's arm off. <laughs> Minus an arm. <laughs> there was one item that arrived intact. Lisa, will you marry your boyfriend? <laughs> I, I, I forgot his name. <laughs> sure. She was going to marry him. And with Vanessa's touchily underwhelming response, we were then treated to Picton's traditional welcome of drowning visitors in the harbour. No! No!